Greetings to all you fellow precision shooting enthusiasts. Today I'm here to talk to you about something which shouldn't really exist, given that according to most of you, or rather, according to most enthusiasts, a carbon fiber stock made entirely of carbon fiber should not exist for various reasons. Why is that? Well, firstly, because it has unnatural reactions, because it's stiff, because it transmits vibrations, and because it behaves in a way that's not predictable. I'd like to go into further detail regarding the carbon, which is no longer called the carbon as it's been renamed the target black belt. It came into being in 2016 based on an intuition of ours. We needed to reduce the weight of our FTR category F-class firearms. And we attempted to achieve this using the same approach that many of you may already have seen other manufacturers use. We stuck a nice sticker on, made of fake carbon fiber, but we soon realized that it was useless, given that it weighed exactly the same amount as it did before. So we then tried to spray paint fake carbon fiber onto it, and once again, we realized that it hadn't made a difference. So we even took it a step further and covered it in carbon fiber. But even then, it had made no difference whatsoever. Our only choice was to approach this seriously and scientifically, which is how we approach all the things that we manufacture. Therefore, we set to work to find the best technical construction method, assisted by a company that has in-depth expertise in working with carbon fiber. So we partnered with a company that we also work with in other fields that oversees the carbon fiber molding process using an autoclave. This company actually manufactures parts for completely different industries and doesn't work in the arms industry. It's a company that manufactures everything from Formula One car frames to helicopter propellers. And that's why we figured that they'd be the right company to work with on this so as to achieve results that meet the highest possible standards. And that's how the black belt, which was called the carbon performance at the time, was created. This approach made it possible to achieve an FTR F-Class rifle with a 32-inch barrel that weighs in at just 6 kilos and 350 grams. A similar weight could also be achieved via other methods. You could, for example, use poor quality wood or one that provides little resistance. But we strived to achieve results of the highest quality in regard to both the final product and the technical solutions used. We decided to go with a monoblock system, therefore a system created using two parts without internal support. Therefore, it's not simply a coated stock, but a supporting structure made of a fiber composite. So why did we decide to change the name from carbon to black belt? Because over time, stock design underwent developments just like all our other projects. So we'd started with a stock made entirely out of carbon fiber. Whilst nowadays, although the stock still contains high amounts of carbon fiber, we also make use of Kevlar internally in order to strengthen certain areas, in order to make the firearm's movement more predictable. It's stiffer, more resistant to bending and torsion, while still super lightweight. Its obvious application is in FTR F-class shooting, seeing as here weight plays an extremely important role but it's also a nod to the most demanding marksmen who are not content with wooden stocks. So we succeeded in achieving a technological aesthetic result in which what you see is what you get. We don't make use of showy theatrics. This fiber that's externally visible covers the entire stock. And this is what allows us to fire with such great precision. It has perfectly manageable recoil and predictable reactions. The Black Belt's technical specifications are very similar to the Target series rifles, apart from a few small differences. As you can see, the trigger lever is golden, 
The body is made entirely out of carbon fiber. And if you take a closer look at the pattern, you'll see that there are no theatrics involved, as you can even make out the joint line. The pattern of the fabric itself is continuous, but it serves a different purpose, depending on the area of the firearm onto which it has been placed, in order to achieve maximum comfort whilst firing, as well as maximum predictability regarding what will occur once we've decided to pull the trigger. From a construction standpoint, the firing mechanism is identical on all sporting series rifles, both in terms of the calibers as well as the barrel twist options available. The 2020 finish for the sporting line is this red speed finish. Underneath is an integrated Anschutz rail in light alloy. And, obviously, the black belt is also equipped with the anima system, which I'll show you here on this plywood stock that looks practically identical. The stock here is a single-piece stock made entirely of carbon fiber, with the anima system inserted within it in Ergal 7075, which is what creates the union between the firing mechanism and the support, achieving complete interchangeability on all sporting line rifles, regardless of the caliber or model which means that should you decide to start your journey with Victrix in the world of shooting sports using a target, only for you to then realize that your passion has led you towards a black belt. All you'd need to do is remove three screws in order to switch from a classic approach, so a target, to a futuristic one, which is what our black belt provides. The black belt is available in all the usual sporting series calibers. So here, I've got a 32-inch 308 with a 1 in 10 twist, which also happens to be the firearm that I competed with for many years. It's not the exact same one, because mine is pretty beaten up, given that, as I mentioned in another video, I'm used to using production scraps, but which would actually appear to be just as effective. So say you're getting ready for a competition. All you have to do is open the case, pack some good ammunition and give it your best shot. See you in the next video.